What happens when the century decides not to hold back? So we start things off at a maximum prison site where very, very dangerous criminals are kept. And our heroes come here to visit someone very, very important. Keep this in mind as we move on because it's very important with this story. We then find out that there's a massive blackout that occurs in the prison. And it extends to the city that is miles away from the prison. Only for us to find out that someone, someone unknown, hired someone else to turn off the lights. And this person is none other than Electro. As we all know, Electro is able to control large amounts of electricity. So while turning off the lights, he absorbs all the energy within the prison which also extends to Manhattan. And somehow Spider-Man is kind of alert and he kind of rushes towards the sea because there's this huge explosion, really huge explosion that is visible for miles and miles away. So Spider-Man rushes towards the sea, you know, along with the law shield agents and Captain America. We then switch back to Luke Cage and they're being very, very cautious because, you know, they're in a prison. They don't want to get jumped. And, you know, they hurry to go and meet this person they came here for, right? And not too long later, we find out that this person is none other than Robert Reynolds, the sentry himself. He's locked down here with these criminals. So while they are down here, it's revealed that the sentry was locked up here because he killed his wife. And why did he kill his wife? We don't, we don't know yet. We don't know yet why he killed his wife. And... You know, they are trying to explain why they need him to come out so he could help them fight criminals and all of that. But just while they are talking, they get jumped by Carnage. And Carnage starts to dominate them absolutely. And like, that's not even enough, right? The hide just comes out of nowhere. And it's kind of this thing where um, the Carnage and Hyde just team up against these guys. And they are kind of overwhelming them because you know, if, if you know anything about Hyde, you know that he has high durability, right? He is not invulnerable, but he is quite difficult to beat. And at this point, um, the sentry just gets really mad because he's not going to allow, you know, you know, some people just get beaten by this guy. So he just carries Carnage straight to space. He doesn't even waste any time. He just takes him straight to space. He doesn't even tell him anything. He just rips him in half. That That's the end of Carnage. He does return later in, you know, just before the events of King in Back, I mean, in Venom 2018. But we don't see him for a very long time in Marvel Comics. And for those of you that watched the last part of the series, the first part, if you haven't, I really, I really encourage you to do so you can understand everything that's happening here. Um, I'll have links in the description, don't worry. And you would remember that his memory was wiped. He doesn't. He, he he. At the end of at the end of the first part of this, this series, I told you guys that his memory was wiped, right? But it turns out that he did remember that he's the Sentry. And if you remember, there was this guy called Mastermind. You know, in fact, we'll get to, we'll get we'll get to all that in a bit. You know, due to these things happening right now, the blackout in Manhattan, and you know, this red alert coming from the prison, since all the prisoners have escaped, right? A couple heroes rush to the scene and Luke Cage and the rest quickly come out on the ground. You know, Luke Cage actually manages to beat the hide. You know, Luke Cage is no pushover, he's actually really strong. So he does manage to beat the hide, he comes to the surface and he's helping out the agents of S.H.I.E.L.D., Captain America and Spider-Man. Along with a couple other heroes like um, Spider-Woman, um, Daredevil and the rest, they're all going out here. And then Sentry returns. Sentry just comes back. He just stares at all of them, and it's only left for us, the readers, to 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 imagine what he did here, right? Because they don't draw it out. They don't show us what happened. They just show the Sentry stand down on all of them, and it's just really funny because we know that he beat the shit out of these villains. But a lot of them did manage to escape the prison. You know, the smart ones didn't stick around to fight. They they ran away. So there's that. So we get back to um, Captain America. After the fight, he 
he's really impressed with how they were able to unite and fight a common enemy and they decide to te- he decides to recruit them so they could team up and form the new avengers team you might ask why i said the new avengers team well the book before this the avengers book before this is um avengers disassembled right basically what happened in this book if you watch the wonder vision series it actually is actually adapted from here um a tiny bit of it is adapted from here where um the scarlet which has a mental breakdown you know and she goes to fight agatha agatha the harkness you know she goes to fight her because in this comic um she kind of erased her kids and if you remember from the series her kids are not real you know she created her kids how i think you guys get the point she, she, she didn't give birth to them so to say like she created them from magic you know so agatha just erased them since they were kind of unreal or whatever and you know scarlet was mad she was also having this mental breakdown and she was causing reality warping on a massive scale right i would say it was well above planetary because it even made the it even made the um the avengers go through a lot right um scott lang died hawkeye died you know all of that and it was it was quite sad you know she didn't do this on purpose right she didn't know how to control her powers at that point because she was using chaos magic and even dr strange didn't even know anything about chaos magic at this point but anyways back to what i was saying since the avengers team was disbanded because of the events that happened everybody was sad you know the government wasn't really happy with the avengers because they did a lot of destruction so they were disbanded and steve rogers came back to create the avengers initiative once again you know because this team this roster consisting of spider-man iron man um spider woman and a whole lot of other people or a couple other people wolverine later joins this team anyway so he's able to recruit everyone from that fought alongside with him except daredevil and the sentry the reason he couldn't recruit daredevil there are a lot of reasons right daredevil's identity recently just got leaked to the press and you know he's going through a lot he's also a lawyer he doesn't want to have to have he doesn't want to have to juggle all these things together so he does promise captain america that if he does change his mind he will join the avengers but as for now he's going to lay low and you know just keep doing his thing right and the reason they couldn't recruit our our boy sentry is because immediately after he defeated all those villains he just he just went off no one no one knew where he was yet so to kind of cut the long story short um iron man and yeah a couple avengers i think steve rogers and the and a couple members of shield were able to trace where the sentry is you know he was hidden in one cave wherever it was i think it was in nevada i'm not sure and you know we just find the sentry there being sad you know he killed his wife he really deserves punishment you know in his own in his own words he deserves he doesn't deserve to help people anymore he just really he's just really sad and angry right and he's really afraid that the devil which that's why i said you guys should watch the other video but for the sake of those who haven't you know there was this there was this virus in his head that was planted that if he remembers who he is he is going to be afraid that the devil comes to the world and destroy the world and all that so, you know he's also afraid of that you know and he killed his wife you, you know all these kind of things it's, it's really bothering him and he he's not having he's not he doesn't want to rejoin the avengers and then that's when it's revealed that he didn't kill his wife because iron man brings his wife into the cave mind blown right and you know out of shock the sentry just leaves he's just he, he he can't even comprehend what's happening he just he just leaves and later on they they call emma frost right emma frost is a very very powerful telepathic mutant right and she she's able to trace where he is and you know she just has this heart to heart with him explains shit to him and tries to convince robert reynolds to join the heroes as their intent is to help him is to help him mentally and you know just give him a place to stay and all that since he's kind of this homeless guy right now you know and coupled with the fact that he didn't kill his wife you know they're just trying to explain everything to him or she is trying to explain everything to him 
Um, okay, so we soon find out that even though he has once again become the sentry, something something is wrong. Something is very wrong. He can't remember any any past encounters, right? He 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 only remembers what like he only remembers his normal life as Robert Reynolds. He doesn't remember anything about the century, he doesn't remember the Avengers, he doesn't remember saving people, you know, being an inspiration. And the reason of that is because of the mastermind, as I said earlier. He's the one who put the mental barrier in his head that he wouldn't be able to remember all this. So Emma Frost does reveal this to him while she's in his head she she's actually like having a conversation in his head like i said before she's a telepath so she can do these kind of things you know and while she's in his head explaining and trying to you know fix him the void jumps out the void the void comes out of his head and starts to attack the heroes and not just the avengers right now the x-men are also here you know a lot of heroes are here and he just the Void is just going all out. He's just going all out on the Avengers and the, all the other heroes. While, you know, they are trying to help him, Reed Richards is, here, is also here. You know, everyone, the whole gang is here, right? And the Void attacks them. You know, one thing I really love about Robert Reynolds is the fact that he doesn't he doesn't give up. He always, he always wants to help people, you know? Despite knowing the Void will always come back, he always wants to help make sure that doesn't happen you know he wants to always be a part of it and you know that's really something as human beings we can uh, admire we can we can take from him right so eventually emma frost brings his wife you know into his head you know and they are able to fix him they are able to make sure make um they are able to remove that mental virus he remembers who he is and he then agrees to join the Avengers. He, he agrees to join the Avengers and they remove the virus from his head and all that. And after this, there's a lot of adventures he goes on, which I don't think it's necessary for us to cover, you know. He does go out on adventures with Iron Man and they fight Doom. He goes on adventures with Captain America and Captain Marvel. You know, all these adventures, I don't really think we need to cover this, but if you guys really do want you know they are really interesting stories anyway but i don't think they are necessary i'm just trying to explain like the plot points the key points to the century story so um i'll be bringing this video to an end but but i promise you guys the next video is going to be it's going to be insane because we are going into century versus the hulk century dying you know the siege of asgard him coming back as the herald of death you know it's going to be crazy you guys should um stick around make sure you like subscribe leave a nice comment you know if you guys want any video i heard you guys really want an orion origin you know um i'm going to work on that i'm going to work on an orion origin story and i'm also thinking of making a john constantine story too and i see that the eternals is coming out really soon so maybe i'll make an icarus video too since icarus is the main Eternal, right? He's going to be the main protagonist in the Eternal. So I could give you guys his origin story if you guys want. Um, yeah, that's basically it. So if you're new around here, make sure you subscribe, turn on the post notification bell so when I post, you'll be the first to be notified. Leave a like, and I'll see you all in the next one. Check it out.